Hello everybody, this is Out of the Box Unboxing and in today's episode I'm going to review and test screwdriver uh, cordless drill from um, Fixa available in uh, IKEA and this is a model 14.4 uh, volts uh, it's less popular but in my opinion it's a more reasonable choice for those uh, of you who wanna have some tools electric tools in your in your apartment in your home that it will not be a uh, for one time job and uh, this is let's say my my short judgment it's okay it's good value for the money and uh, yes on the beginning some basic parameters first of all what I have mentioned, the uh, 14.4, 4, uh, it's, a, it's a model, but it's also the voltage. Battery uh, size, battery um, type is uh, uh, 1.3 ampere hours, lithium ion, which is good. Charger, uh, charging char time is from 3 up to 5 hours. Uh, and this is a very disadvantage, it's a, it's a disadvantage because you cannot wait. And for those of you who thought that you you can charge it, let's say, on the job, you cannot. Either you are work, working, either you are charging. So, uh, for those of you who want, uh, uh, in some way, finish the finish the finish the job, it's not an option. So you need to wait. Uh, maximum torque of 16 Newton meters could be more, but it's enough. Uh, chuck capacity uh, it's um, from uh, up to 10 millimeters. Adjustable torque 19 and drill mode. And uh, it's a two gears, two speed gears um, drill or screwdriver, cordless uh, screwdriver, cordless drill on the first gear you have up to 350 so more torque but less RPMs on the second gear you have a 1200 which is okay uh, weight slightly more than 1 kg uh, to be precise 1.1 uh, and from the basic parameters I think that's all. Uh, the disadvantage is that you cannot replace battery so it will withstand I think three years, four years if you don't use it uh, uh, often but after that period uh, the, the, the working time would be not so great. Okay what I have prepared it's a uh, standard situation because it's an IKEA screwdriver or cordless drill better to say uh, so in some way intended use is only for uh, screwing your furnitures so small woodworks so I am assuming the drill size not more than four some basic screws and uh, and yes, uh, also you will get inside of the package, which is uh, worth to, 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 to mention, some bits, but uh, for me those are one-time use bits, so for DIY usage, I think even for DIY usage, not, not enough. For one-time job, yes, especially those drills which are for steel, you could play with wood, but uh, they are for, for, for steel. I don't expect they will withstand even one type of, of, of task. That... Okay, so let's try with uh, drilling on the, on the beginning. First gear. I have prepared two pieces of wood. Harder Softer, I would say soft, medium, but uh, yes, I'm applying drill mode 
and let's let's see. Mm. Not bad. Okay. not the fastest on the market but it's doing the job and now let's try to screw uh, let's go with the smaller one uh, I didn't mention but the disadvantage because this is a part of the package uh, usually you get uh, this uh, uh, chuck with um, magnet on the bottom just to help you keep your bits in, in place. Here you get some kind of spring on the side, this, this black part. So you need to apply some force to put it inside but also to, um, to get it out. So when your uh, fingers are slightly uh, wet I mean from the from the um, uh, uh, from the from your sweat it could be hard to replace it for instant for bigger one so simple some I, I, I can imagine it's a cost-cutting solution but bear in mind okay so I will try with harder wood it doesn't make sense to, to go with soft wood And now I will move to second gear. 13 is not enough. Let's go with 15. Was enough. Okay, without any problems. For the bigger one, I will change this bit because it's a free type, type type three, and the, 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 this was a type two. It's pH. As far as I remember, it's called Phillips type. You see, pH two, and that's the pH three. For those of you who don't who don't know the difference, that's the difference. If you try to apply, for instance, this second, it will it will do the job, but it will not be the best one. So, for bigger screws, you should use a, a bigger bit. And also one, one remark, uh, with bigger screws you should uh, drill hole uh, up front because it will allow you to first, uh, first of all drill or screw efficiently and second it may happen that uh, bigger screws can break in, uh, in part um, uh, the wood so please bear in mind that you should prepare hole before uh, screwing. just to not break my uh, my table and that happens so you can now you can see what's happening with wood when you are not drilling up front now let's try to 
Got to get back. That's all, folks. So, as on the, uh, the beginning I have mentioned, uh, it's very good for DIY usage. Only disadvantage that you cannot replace battery and the charging time. So, if you need a cordless drill in your home for a reasonable amount of money, that's the answer for your need. And uh, I, would, I think you will be satisfied with this slight bigger one, heavier one, but it's, it's more practical, mainly because of the, um, the torque that it's, it's, it's really supplying and two gears. It's uh, more practical in use. So, thank you for watching, stay tuned, and see you next time. Bye.